Hi everyone, I'm just coming up um, to let you all know very quickly. The Lord showed me a vision about New York City. He showed me the Statue of Liberty. And he tells me that the Statue of Liberty represents harlotry. I repeat, the Statue of Liberty represents harlotry. That means that where all demon spirits that were hiding inside statues, they're also hiding inside of the Statue of Liberty. And that Statue of Liberty represents America. But the Lord also showed me that the Statue of Liberty represents harlotry full of lust and temptations that spread around America and around the nations. And that the Lord showed me that the Statue of Liberty, known as the harlotry, will fall. It will fall during earthquakes, during megaton tsunamis, and doing nuclear bombs. That's right. The Lord showed me that New York City will be hit by nuclear bombs during the seven year tribulation. And that New York City will fall and will also be hit by a megaton tsunami that God will wipe away the entire city of New York City, including the Statue of Liberty known as the Harlot Tree full of lusts and temptations. And it's not just New York City that will fall, but the entire major cities in America, here in America, will also fall as well, will also be hit by nuclear bombs. And will also be hit by huge megaton tidal waves of flood. It will be hit by a huge megaton tsunamis that will wipe out the entire city and that will flood the entire city immediately. And then the Lord showed me that there will be a huge great earthquakes that will spread the entire United States of America. And that United States of America will be separate, will be cut in half into parts. It could be two parts or three parts, but it's going to be a huge, great earthquake that will split America in half. God told me that he will do it. He will first use Russia and China to invade America because America has been found guilty of breaking all Ten Commandments and have committed all sins and idolatry, including Pride Month, including lust and temptation, sexual immorality, idolatry, pride, witchcraft, and all ungodly sins. God is showing me that God, God is showing me a vision that he's bringing judgment into America. And during the seven year tribulation, America will be destroyed. America will be known as the mystery Babylon. The Lord will use Russia and China to destroy New York City first. And then all the major cities in, in America. This is not a game, y'all. This is definitely a vision from the Lord. And the Lord kept showing me a vision of New York City that's falling. And, it's, and then it will be under flooded. It will be flooded forever. That means no life. No life signs. And no one who will be alive and the crumbling of New York City in all major cities during the seven year tribulation. All the major cities, including America, will fall by nuclear bombs, by Russia and China invasions, and all other countries here in America. They're fighting against all people and destroying all people in America during the seven year tribulation. And God showed me that the entire city, including New York City, will be flooded. And so as the Statue of Liberty that represents the crumbling of America. America is falling. And America will fall during the seven year tribulation. So right now, God is telling you all to repent immediately right now. In the name of Jesus. You all need to repent immediately and be filled with the Holy Spirit and be water baptized with healing and deliverance. 
and to get church homes so that way you all can be rapture ready for the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that you all, including you and me as well, will all be safe with Jesus Christ in heaven and that we will all be going home to heaven during the pre-tribulation rapture of the church. God is still showing me a vision of America. That will be hit so badly because they don't have any weapons to stop or any weapons that's not strong enough to stop Russia and China invasions. They will become defenseless. America will lose World War III. It will be so terrible during the seven year tribulation. Where we are right now, the war is not happening yet here in America. But we are still going through spiritual warfares where we saw all... Of the churches that are falling away from God and into Satan. The great falling away of the church has already begun. The great persecution has already begun. We're living in the last days that all of these things that we see on television and on social media and from God are all the beginning of birth pains where we are right now. Are just the beginning of birth pains. Even uh, tsunamis, tornadoes, severe weather, everything that's happening everywhere. It all represents God's wrath. And God is still giving everyone the chance to repent right now. And be filled with the Holy Spirit. And be water baptized. And get healing, deliverance, church homes, and then discipleship. So if that's you, now's the time to repent. It's not just you, but Everyone in America and all the nations, including Israel, but Israel shall be protected during the seven year tribulation. God showed me that He will place His hands on Israel during the seven year tribulation, even right now as well. So keep praying for Israel, keep praying for Jerusalem, keep praying for the peace of Israel and Jerusalem. Keep praying, y'all, because Israel and God. Our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, still needs our help to pray for Israel. We are not to go against Israel. We are not to fight against flesh and blood. Pray for Israel and leave the rest to God. So remember these warnings. During the seven year tribulation, America will be destroyed. America will be known as the Mystery Babylon. And it also is known as Sodom and Gomorrah. America has become Sodom and Gomorrah, even Mystery Babylon as well. So America and all the people around the world, including here in America, repent right now and immediately and be filled with the Holy Spirit, be water baptized and get healing, deliverance, church homes and then discipleships because God is not playing games on you. The more you do that, the more he will save your life and that he will spare your life. And that he will keep you safe forever. And the more you do that, the more you become born again Christians. By being filled with the Holy Spirit. And then when the rapture comes unexpectedly. When Jesus Christ appears on the clouds with power and great glory. And he shows up unexpectedly along with millions and billions of angels. All around him. All showed up as well. That means it's time for us to go home. During the rapture of the church. The pre-tribulation rapture of the church. And that we will all not be here. And we will all not be here to see judgment against America. The great destruction of the mystery of Babylon here in America. The falling of all major cities. And other things too. All God's wrath. From the seven seals. To the seven trumpets. And to the seven bowls of God's wrath, according to the book of Revelation, God is telling us the truth that those things will take place in the seven year tribulation. Where we are right now, do not be afraid because we're still living in the last days. And these are just the beginning of birth pains. This is not a real destruction yet. But God is releasing his wrath and still telling all people to repent right now. I'm not saying that you got plenty of time. No, you're running out of time because tomorrow is not promised. If you wait till tomorrow comes and all of a sudden 
you die from natural causes, natural diseases, and unknown situations in two seconds. And then all of a sudden you show up in heaven and you stand in the great white throne of judgment. And if your name is not found written in the Lamb's book of life in heaven, then God will cast you out of heaven and into the lake of fire where you'll be burned and be destroyed forever. So do not go to hell. You don't deserve to go to hell. You deserve to go to heaven to be with Jesus Christ in heaven. And also during the rapture of the church where we will all be going home and be with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. And I cannot force you all to go to heaven. You have to go through Jesus Christ first. You have to make a choice. Choose Jesus Christ today and surrender your heart and your life to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be water baptized. Get healing, deliverance, church homes, discipleships, including attending Bible studies. The more you do that the more he will bless you and he will keep you safe forever and that your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life forever. And you must continue to maintain your love relationship with Jesus Christ forever until he shows up 